Hello everyone and welcome back to another Rise of Kingdoms video. I'm Royal Mix Gaming and today we're going to be talking about none other than Khan. I'm probably saying it wrong, but um, you may be wondering why did I expertise Khan? Because that's what this video is going to be about, is Khan himself. I expertised him very recently, I'm going to show you guys that here in a second. And then once that's over, I'm going to go ahead and explain to you why I maxed him and kind of his utilities in kvk and in general because he's not as bad as everybody thinks it's just you gotta know how to use him so i'll see you after this <laughs> guys we're back so i hope you guys enjoyed watching me expertise con because for a restart account like this that i have it's only 28 million it took me a long time to expertise to more than more than one commander so i've been playing this account for 262 days and i now have two max legendaries that actually cost you legendary heads ethel flood i don't count anymore so real quickly what i'm going to talk about is just how do you use con so in general, I would recommend you guys get Saladin or Alex before you get a Khan. I, on the other hand, did not have the opportunity to unlock Saladin. I was in an Imperium Kingdom in KVK 2 and 3 now. We are basically an Imperium Kingdom, and everything's kind of arranged at some point, so I could not unlock him. I plan to get him in some way, shape, or form, either from Card King or something like that, before I migrate back again, and probably do him next. So... If you guys have watched my videos on my ruins fights and stuff like that, you have seen me use Khan and then YSG secondary. And you may wa wonder why I use that combo. One, it's because I didn't have Alex or Saladin to use. And at the time that I was going to get Khan, KVK2 that was starting, the fight was about to start. Alex had not come out yet. And I had heads and I was like, well, I'll spin a wheel for Khan and get Khan at least somewhat usable instead of using Sun Tzu and YSG for KVK2. So um, I'm glad that I did that. And if you guys want to watch some of those videos, I showed my KVK2 where I used Khan and YSG and Sun Tzu and I think Bjorn. But the main thing I wanted to talk about was how do I use Khan. So I like to play with Khan because he is a very high DPS commander. And that's why I like Saladin and Alex too is because they do damage. And I don't like Richard or Charles or anything tanky like that. When I first started the game, I did. But nowadays, I know that glass cannon commanders, that if you know how to use them, they can do very well for you because they do a lot of damage really quickly. And especially since Khan has the reduced rage requirement, much like XY does in the Season of Conquest, they are very similar commanders. The only difference is XY is basically just a better Khan. And that's why I would use him in the Season of Conquest over Khan. But in KVK 2 and 3... He's a very viable primary, and especially in the Ruins fights and things like that, and Altar fights, him as primary is a very viable option. You just need to know when to back off, who to hit, who to not hit. So I really recommend you guys watch my last Ruins or Altar fight that I posted the other day if you really want to see me, how I play with a very, very squishy march. And I think I've only been wrecked once, maybe twice. One was because I let it happen. I was We were trying to delay the ruins and then the second time was just me getting out of place but as long as you guys basically back off when you kind of you have a feeling or you can see that you're about to be surrounded or you have once you're hitting a target and it starts to run away you're going to pop a skill and then you're going to back off you can't really get deep into the ball and you're not a richard you're not a charles you've got to know how to back off know what to hit hit low marches and things like that because if you don't hit low marches especially since I'm T4, I have to hit low marches that are basically yellow or red usually because otherwise it's T5s and it's going to hurt if I hit a full march of 300k T5 and I'm only T4. 
I have been trying to work on my tech, but it takes a long time to do that. So what I'd recommend you guys do is if you do want con, you're going to have to work on salad in next because you're going to want to do is put salad in primary and then use con secondary if you're going to use him in five marches because using him primary in a five march murder ball is not going to do you very well because people are going to target him first. You're going to have to hide him in a five march murder ball. But I just wanted to tell you guys that I, he is still a good commander. It's just he isn't as he's just the squishiest of all the KVK 2 and 3 commanders, and that's why people don't like him as well. I like him simply because he does a lot of damage really fast, and if I want to get away and I'm paying attention, I can get away from pretty much anybody. You just kind of have to know how to play on the field and judge the situation based on what's happening. So that's the main thing I want to talk about in this video is if you guys are thinking about investing in Khan, just know that you kind of have to know how to play with a glass cannon march or you're not going to like it. So if you're going to try and use a glass cannon march, I would recommend you use epics or something like that in the field at first and kind of get used to using something that's not going to be as tanky as a legendary. And if you kind of like doing more damage and stuff, then you would upgrade to a more glass cannon march. But if you want something that's a little bit different and it's infantry, go for Alex. If you want something that's going to be cheaper and not do as much damage but be tankier, then uh, you can go ahead and do Saladin. And in general, like I said, I'd recommend if you like Cavs, do Saladin. And if you like Infantry, do Alex. So you could pair him, pair one of them with YSG. So I just didn't have the opportunity to do Saladin. But my plan is to do Saladin Khan. And then probably do either Alex and Esong for when I get back to Season of Conquest and stuff like that. So I have a plan to use Khan still. It's just I have to prioritize what I had with what I was able to obtain. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a little bit longer than I was expecting. But um, one last thing, our King's Land is on Friday. I will record that. I will not stream it because one, I won't be at my apartment, and two, I don't want to give away anything that could harm this kingdom's opportunity to win. So I will post that video either with music or with Discord. Depends on what I'm kind of feeling and what's going on. I may be at work, I don't know. We'll see how that goes, but I will record it one way or the other and show you what I see as I play it with my T4 account here on my restart. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you on the next one.